Hello friends, it's Miss Jordan with Children's Museum Tucson and for today's STEM experiment we are going to be doing walking water, a lesson, and capillary action. We will also be discussing color mixing just a little bit. All right friends, so let's get started. What's capillary action? Well, capillary action is the process in which plants, which includes trees, and flowers and the beautiful succulents that we have sometimes in our house. It's the process in which they drink. And you know, all plants, all living things need water to survive, right? So this is how plants survive. As water falls down, 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 and the soil absorbs the water, that water goes into the roots. Now from the roots, the water travels upwards through the stem and then disperses into the petals so that the entire plant gets a nice drink of water. So friends, once again, capillary action is the process in which water travels upwards to feed the plant. Got it? Awesome. All right. Now, our second part of the lesson is color mixing. We have primary colors, which are red, yellow, and blue. And then we have the secondary colors, which are orange, green, and purple. These secondary colors are made from those primary colors. So when red and yellow combine, they make orange. When yellow and blue combine, they make green. And when red and blue combine, they make purple. We are gonna be combining color mixing and capillary action when we do walking water. Are you ready for the experiment? Here we go. So to get started, friends, we will need six cups, preferably clear, so that you can see them. You'll need a pitcher of water, and we're gonna fill up our cups about a little less than half. There we go. We just want a little bit of water in each cup, but enough so that when we put our strips of paper towels in, the ends of those paper towels touch the water. Very nice. Okay, so six cups, a pitcher or a glass of water, and then we will need yellow, blue and red food coloring, or also known as the primary colors. So we're gonna go ahead and put a couple droplets of red in one cup. Then we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna skip this middle cup and we're gonna put yellow in another we're gonna skip that cup and we're going to put blue in this cup. Fabulous. Now friends, here's where capillary action comes into play. We are going to place our strips. We'll need six of those. Our six strips of paper towels into our cups. like so. There we go. Alrighty. And so what the paper towels are doing is they're acting as bridges. They are going to help the cups that have color in them transport the color into the clear cups. So we're gonna let this sit and as you can see, oh my gosh, look at that. The color is already starting to travel upwards through the paper towel. So friends, we're gonna let this marinate or rest for a couple hours and then we're gonna come back and see what has happened. Stay tuned. 
Alrighty, friends, here are the results to our walking water experiment. We now have the three secondary colors, orange, green, and purple, in addition to the three primary colors that we started off with of red, yellow, and blue. And friends, a really cool observation that I made earlier is that when we began this experiment, our paper towel strips were white. And now, because of capillary action, thank you capillary action, they, the paper towel strips, absorbed so much of the food coloring that they have actually changed their color as well. So friends, thank you so much for joining me for science and we'll see you next time. Have a great day.